Hi folks, my name is Mitch. Um, just doing another video in a game I'm playing called Harvest Town. And I'm just going to go over the um, very many ways of making uh, gold in this game. Um, and some of the uh, more successful routes that I have uh, bumped into. So, <clears throat> uh, let's get started on this. Um, the first thing is the obvious farming method. Um, if you do a grid to plant um, tomatoes, it's a really uh, decent cash crop. Uh, tomato seeds are 16 gold each. Um, they grow in three days. You can collect them every two days after that and can be harvested five times. Um, the amount of uh, return that you get on the investment is uh, substantially more than the investment itself, so it's something to really keep into consideration. Um, what I do is I actually use a a uh, 44 grid setup and what that is is um, I have a sprinkler that is purchased from the diamond mall uh, and these are automatic sprinklers so you can get a total of nine of them for 60 diamonds each uh, they do a seven by seven grid and you never have to worry about watering your crops ever again um, as long as it's within that grid I also use four scarecrows, and the reason why I use four scarecrows is because this way the scarecrows covers every single little plot. Sure, this could be a lot more efficient, but this is what I'm doing currently. I'm in the process of revamping my entire layout as well, so that's why um, it looks like it's just a mess over here. Uh, I got to 40 not too long ago, so I'm in a. I just want to kind of move things around and kind of organize my uh, farmland a little bit. But yeah, so this is the basis. This is grid right here will help you with 44 crops. You can put a well in there. Wells are not necessarily um, that important um, unless you want to double up your output from time to time. But again, not something uh, game breaking there. Um, the main thing that makes the most money is the uh, aircraft order. Once you build the um, the airport area, um, sorry, the, the building, uh, the transportation building, uh, you can generate a lot of money through that. And even if you can't fulfill your orders, if you fulfill the first line right here, for example, this will give you 36,840 coins, which is a good chunk of coins right there. However, let's just say you don't have enough resources to fill your entire order. Um, the main thing is as long as you can fill something, then you'll get something out of it. And what I'm saying is, for example, the silk cloth right here. Uh, six silk cloth will net me um, 1,824 uh, uh, coins. Uh, that translates to 304 coins per silk cloth. Now, if I were to grab the silk cloth and sell it on the market, uh, you're looking at 190 coins for the silk cloth, which in turn, it's not really worth selling it in the market. I might as well just load it up. The good thing about the aircraft order is that when you do load it up, you get the prosperity as well. Uh, so not only that you get more money out of it, you also get the prosperity and it'll help you with the leveling. Um, once you do that, if you're not going to be filling out the rest of the order and you know you're not going to be doing so, just hit send it. Even if you don't have any of the items that are available and you just want the next process to start, you didn't fill up any of the crates, hit send anyways, because there's no use in waiting around for 12 hours for the international order to expire. Um, you're sitting on what potentially can net you a lot of money and you're just waiting for half a day for it to just expire out on you. Uh, just send it. You're not gonna get any of it because you did not get any of the extra rewards. Um, I didn't fill out any of the, uh, the, the rows there. So I'm just going to hit confirm, send it off, and I'm going to go straight back into the aircraft order. So now I know what to kind of prepare for next. I have five hours to prepare some coal, some quartz, and some gold ingots, which is a lot easier for me to produce than it was with the sauerkraut. So this is going to be something where I can kind of fill up almost everything. I don't really recommend filling the middle and the third lines um, if you're going to be filling a lot of the lines i i guess fill it up anyways if you got a lot of resources to do but the um the package that they give you it's it's not really beneficial to to try 
and push your production limits um, to fill all three lines. The first line obviously is the most important because that's where the gold is. Second line will give you the prosperity if you need some prosperity to level up. Um, so those uh, just do take that into consideration. Um, I would honestly uh, suggest to focus on the ship orders. Ship orders are a lot more important than the van orders. And the reason why is because the ship orders will give you some building materials. You can't really progress in this game unless you're willing to spend real money uh, to get diamonds, to get decorations, um, or to get coins to buy decorations and just level up through that way. However, when you're going to power level yourself um, through those means, you get to a stopping point where the the items that you need like um, the building materials like nails like copper wire that's one that I'm always lacking I can't get enough to upgrade my buildings and I can't fulfill the orders because I can't upgrade my buildings um, if you uh, if you power level uh, it's great it opens up a lot of space on your land however this game is really not to be met it's not meant to be um, something that you blow through it's a casual game uh, so play it as that. Uh, another thing is don't be sending on orders that you can't fulfill. Uh, for example, like any of these orders, um, I'm probably not going to make any camel down anytime soon or some salty eggs. Just trash it. The reason why you want to trash it is because there's no point in sending on any of the orders that if, if it's just there and you're waiting to, to level up or it's going to take 12 hours to make this production or whatever the case is, um, that's just wasted money. Uh, no, no point in doing any of that. Uh, so let me just do this. I'm going to fulfill this order here. Um, let me see. 3680 is probably the best bet. Let's just do that. Whatever. No, I'm not going to want to decline. I'm going to send it. Okay, so I just leveled up. I'm at 44 now. I'm not here to rush through up to 50. Um, I stopped at 40 and I'm just casually going through. Okay, so you see, so this order right here, this particular square, I'm not going to make all of that stuff. I'm just going to trash it, wait the 10 minutes, and wait to see something else pops up. I already have another order come um, ready to go as soon as the, uh, the van comes back. Um, this is something not really important to fulfill. Again, the main thing that you should focus on is the, the aircraft order and also the ship order. And if you have extra resources, then the van order. So moving on. The uh, next thing that you want to take into consideration is the mining um, part of this game. I believe you unlock it at level 20, I would like to say. Um, and you just constantly dig. Uh, the, the pickaxe should be the first tool that you level up all the way to the max. And the reason why is because you're going to be spending a lot of time in the mines. Uh, the... <clears throat> That's how I make a lot of uh, my money. So let's go scroll to ancient mine. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, it took me quite a bit of time to get to this depth. Um, it's it's again again a casual game. You don't need to go too crazy in terms of this. This as long as you don't die in the mine, you're good. All right, and what we're trying to get is any of the the raw gems. So the blue raw stone, these um, these other gems, something sometimes they don't pop out. You can get the ores. Ores are fine too, but the money that I'm talking about is obtained through these gems. Okay, so I think that's about enough. That's what I wanted to kind of show you guys. Now. Alright, if you mine enough, you're going to level up really quickly um, and you're going to get different grades. Uh, let's go back to my home. Okay, so they come in different tiers. Uh, tier, the, the one, the no star is just, that's the, the base tier. Um, the white star is uh, the uh, silver tier. The gold star, like for example, this golden rod nectar has a gold star right on top of it. That's the third tier, and the last tier is the purple star. And when I'm talking about that, 
let's just go here. There's no way that you are going to be able to process all of the gems that you harvest. Um, the gem layer, I believe, is at layer 4000. So just keep digging upwards until you hit that. Um, so what I want to show you is what I do normally. All right, so let's go here. We're looking for the raw emerald. The raw emerald will sell to the market for the least amount at the highest tier. Okay, so it's 22 coins. We're taking that with us. Um, we're going to be taking one full stack of, of each one just to kind of show you what kind of money you can make just selling um, raw gems, gems that are not processed yet. Okay, so get that one, that one. Let me see. What am I missing? I'm missing, no, no, no. I'm missing this one, the obsidian. Obsidian, got that, got that. Okay, so we are ready to hit the marketplace. Okay, so these are maximum uh, tier, so tier four. I'm gonna go straight to the market and this is the kind of money you can make. Um, the main thing that you're going to be getting, you're not going to get a lot of obsidian. You're going to get a lot of, you're not going to get a lot of amethyst, I believe. Um, barrel, you'll definitely get. Sapphire, you'll get. Emerald, you'll get. Ruby, you'll get. And barrel. So the obsidian and the amethyst is not something that you'll get immediately. You're going to get these four um, once you hit the gem layer. Um, and a full stack of, you know, of each one of them is 16,830 gold coins. Uh, let's add the rest to it. Uh, you can't even do that. So this is already 35k. We're going to sell that. And this is another 5.5k. So what, 40k on the low end? 40, 45k? You can't, I can't even process all that. That's impossible to process. Uh, I don't have that much time to keep, you know, like managing my game to do that. That's, I, I just got 45K from digging. Uh, now, going back to the whole digging thing, once you're out of energy, <clears throat> you got no more uh, vitality left. What we want to do is we want to go to the, um, the occult cave. And uh, this one actually unlocks at, uh, at level 30. And the way it works is you pretty much, you're going to suicide in here. And the reason why we suicide is because when you die, you have a free revive. And that's per in-game day, not per full day. It's per in-game day. So anytime that you go in here and you die in here, um, you can revive for free. You don't have to watch an ad or anything and you'll get a full health bar and you'll get a full vitality bar. So let's go here, we're gonna go highest floor. So 101, I'm just gonna fight the mobs. I'm not gonna avoid them. I'm just gonna fight them. I'm just gonna try to get to the next level. I'm dead. All right, so you can, you know, it's free. You don't have to pay for any diamonds. Um, the ad revive, you get, what, three, four a day? Um, in a normal full day um, so you're gonna have to kind of manage that you're going to kind of skip around everywhere um, let me see I'm going to do this Why is, uh, yeah. this is my YouTube channel so let's just do YouTube All right, full health, and we got some type of defense, some barrier that will, um, will allow us to take any amount of damage and not get hurt. All right, so we're good for the next level. We're gonna go to the next level, and I'm gonna hit the stair, um, the ladder right away, just in case if there's any mobs right next to me. I'm gonna leave the cave. I'm at full health and also full uh, stamina. So, and we're going to go back to the cave, go back to the ancient mine. I'm going to go right in there 
and start digging again. Uh, do keep in mind that anything that I mentioned here can um, be changed later on in the future. This is in beta, so all of this might not even apply later on. Um, if you do happen to sum up on this video within, I don't know, what, several months from now. Uh, this is not the most um, spectacular fun thing to do, but it is something if you're looking to generate some money, you're looking to burn away some stamina, and you're looking to dig all the way up until you can find uh, the um, elusive gem layer. And now let's get back out. Let's go here. Exit. I have a lot of scrolls as you can tell. Okay. So the final thing that I want to mention is... Let's go back to... Here. Um, sometimes people are trying to maximize their fondness with a particular character uh, in the in town. The great thing about having these um, these purple gems is that uh, it doesn't matter what you give to the people in town as long as they don't hate it. Uh, once you hit a certain amount per week, you can't gain more than that. You can't pass the 100 unless you're doing like a quest for them. So if you hit 80 and you give them something that they really love and it's their birthday and they get all this extra bonus fondness for that week, um, you can't pass the 100 mark. It won't give you anything more than that. Uh, so there's no point in giving, for example, Foxy a refined gem. A uh, refined gem can go for quite a bit of money. Um, there's no, uh, you know, you, you might as well just sell that because, or use that for your orders, like right here. I'm gonna use this right here. This is a refined gem. These are refined gems. And I'm just going to send that in the van. Because if you give the, these, let me see these gems to the, um, the the NPCs in town, they all get 20 fondness. You do this Monday through Friday and you're done. Um, they can't get any more than that. Um, they actually don't reject it either. They will take it. They will take the item that you give them and they're like, oh, you know, um, I'm good for the week, but they'll take it anyways. They're greedy people. I don't know why they don't just give it back to you. See, so it just said Foxy doesn't seem that she's interested in gifts right now. Because, let me see. And you can review the, um, the, the, the video. Um, rewind it a little bit. So she already hit 100. Uh, there's no point, there was no point in giving me or giving her that topaz. Or uh, what is this? Yeah, the emerald. Um, you just wa I just wasted 22 coins that I could have saved easily and sold it or made it to something else. So this is Mary Morris. Let's go back to Mary Morris. Let's go to social and see what Mary Morris is in terms of fondness. So she's at 40. So I'm going to give her a gem. This is for you. So now she's at 60. And let's do the duck egg. She got 30 more. So let's go to social. And Mary Morris. So she's at 60. I guess she didn't get anything else after that, after I gave her that extra thing. But there's, again, no, no point in giving them whatever they crave unless it's something that you can easily obtain. Um, tree fruit, for example. Um, the Smith guy, he loves bug parts. And you're going to get a ton of bug parts just from killing people. Or killing mobs, that is. Um, so I'm just going to give him teeth. But I already have the maximum hearts with him. But this is what he likes. Yep. And, you know, he'll just thank you. That's like 30-something fondness right there. 40 fondness, depending on, you know, what ranking or what tier it is. <clears throat> So now they'll start liking you, they'll give you stuff, whatever the case is, little prizes here and there. Um, so again, 
this easy way to make money. Um, you're going to be planting the cash crops, the tomato, the, um, let's go back. So we have tomato. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to chop all of these fruit trees down because I'm going to re, um, remake this area here once spring hits again. Uh, so you're going to be making tomato. If you want another um, easy crop, it'll be these uh, weeds here. Let me see. The forages. Um, it, it's 10 gold per forage or per, for, per forage seed. But you can obtain a lot more just from clipping them. Um, I got two hay, whatever's. So it's, it's something to keep in mind if you want um, quick, easy money. These, grows, these grow overnight. You don't need to water them. Um, and that's pretty much it. So cash crops and the mine, those are going to be your best friends. Um, invest in auto sprinklers. Invest in some scarecrows. And this way it's pretty much something that's it's, it's self-producing money. Uh, when you do the orders, do the ship orders, do the aircraft orders. Uh, ship orders are um, pretty important just because that's the thing that will help you level up your um, your buildings. And then the van order, um, do that if you have extra materials. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, until next time, maybe I'll show you guys my farm once the spring hits. Um, that's when I plan to revamp everything. Take care.